Hello, welcome back. I'm Honeywell. This is part five of our planet-based challenge. And we're getting a lab up and running. We just finished our power collector, so we're going to have a little bit more power to work with. And we're going to go ahead and get our lab up, which will give us some more food to support our 12 colonists. And we actually have a nice spread of colonists here. We have six workers, three biologists, two engineers, and a medic. Um, I'm pretty pleased with those workers. It's a, it's a good mix. And it's a, it's a nice variety. One, two, three. Let's put in another med bay. And maybe another bunk. Yeah, they're getting tired. I'll turn that on and let's get another bunk in here as well. And what do we have going on here? It's still isn't full. Are we producing any extra energy now? Let's turn this off. This is all working. I think there might be a change of plan here. Well, let's see how much... Now, I wasn't expecting a lot of energy in this, but I was expecting at least a couple thousand. But I don't know if we're going to get that. <laughs> ah. Exciting. Ex okay, this is going to be a problem. We can't power what we have now. Yeah. Yeah, there is going to be a change of plans here. We can't power that lab. Not the lab, the structure itself is going to take power. The meat machines, the workbench, not to mention water, which we're probably not going to have enough of that. So what are we going to do? Well, I can change out some of this wheat for a tomato. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's recycle that. We'll put in a tomato plant. That'll give us a little bit extra food. And those are, it's a fast-growing, high-maintenance plan. But we do have a biologist to, to work it. But what? Everyone out of there? And everyone is sleeping. So we can turn this off as well. So what are we going to do? Well... We don't have to expand that quick. I mean, there's no reason why I have to destroy this landing pad. I was just doing it because I thought the kind of it's... You're kidding me. Dallas. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Okay, we don't have a medic. You know what? Destroying this landing pad is a bad idea. Because that cuts us off from colonists. And if we're going to keep the landing pad... We could actually probably trade now. Most of our valuable stuff is in the colony ship, but we can trade. You know what? We're going to... Yeah. What are we going to do? We're going to slow this down. We're going to put in the second airlock for trade, if need be, and solar flares. will increase priority on that. I can't believe our medic that we just got and we're so proud to have died. Okay, we're going to put in a airlock for solar flares and potential trade if we need to. We'll 
put up a large solar panel. Keep our landing pad, which we, I mean, it's not. We can actually use it in a, as a backup, because that's four metal, and a factory is how much? The factory is probably two. Yeah, so a factory would be three metal. Storage. Storage, factory. Lab, control center, landing pads. Uh, what are, we're already... Yeah, we don't have... Okay, this is a good plan. We are going to stay where we're at. Uh, perhaps recruit a medic since Dallas died. Poor Dallas, our first death. She was a new colonist, but we'll miss her. Okay, yeah, I like this better. I thought I had plastic. We do have two plastic. Oh, they're bringing it. Okay. Okay, I like this better. Do we, our workers are up. Let's turn the plant back on so they have something to do. Our engineer is Elsa. Elsa, you just got here. You don't get to sleep in. Get to work. Poor Daria. We got her help and it's like we didn't even get anybody in. Okay, we'll turn off the bunks. Yeah, okay. This is a little bit of a well, not really a setback. Maybe a little bit of a slowdown. But it's still good. I'm going to like having that second airlock because it'll be right there for the mine. Which will be nice. And with all of the workers, we're, we have enough workers to have three people in the mine. And... Are we even going to make it? Well, it's so much... Well, we... <laughs> Sorry, it costs a kilowatt of energy to run you. We cannot have that. Um... Yeah, we have three workers. And actually, the mines work better with... Um, when they're fully staffed, because each additional worker in the mine increases the speed of production. So it's not bad to have the mine fully fully staffed. Um, let's get this back on. And we'll get our mine going. Oh, we might as well use our new our new handy dandy airlock that is right next to the mine. Okay, so we'll produce a little bit more food. We have our landing pad to get more people in and to trade if we need to. We can also recycle it if we need a spare to get our factory up, but hopefully we won't. Okay. Oh, I'm pretty happy with this. The only bad thing is that we don't have a medic, and it's only a matter of time before we get a solar flare. You know what? So let's staff this bunk with, with beds. So at least if we get one, they'll have a chance to, uh, to not die. Should I turn this on for a medic? or just wait it out. I was a little, let's wait to make sure that we have enough food to feed the 11 people that we have because this is all the food we're gonna have without the lab. And then see how that goes. Okay. And all of this is working away. We're gonna get more starch. So let's do our our poor people uh, storage solution. Let's get beds. Um, maybe a potted plant. 
or as a what tiny pirate a pot plant a tiny pirate pirate and fade uh, is a very entertaining uh, YouTube channel that I like a lot if uh, if you haven't heard of them you should definitely search them out very entertaining he's has a prison architect series and a this game series what is this game planet base oh and we oh uh, yeah okay maybe we do need a medic oh shit no no everyone get in get in oh you're gonna die you are going to die okay but our engineer oh, well we have two engineers now okay this isn't that bad actually with the new patch they don't even th Laurel is safe out there as long as she stays in the mine if she doesn't come out of that mine she is good to go okay well all co things considered we uh, really lucked out here <laughs> this could have been really bad but no it's good this is a like if we make it out of this without even one person being radiated I'll be very impressed don't come out Laurel if you do you're gonna die oh yeah do I risk it get in here hurry up get in bed if anyone goes towards that door, I'm locking her out. Oh. LL. LL was trying to commit suicide, along with our uh, CR1. Okay, well that, all things considered, one death, that is not bad at all. And actually, she has a chance of recovering. I don't know the percentage of the chance, but if they're in a med bay, there is a chance that she'll recover even without treatment instead of dying okay okay all things considered I I think this is a uh, pretty good yeah this is not enough power to expand with we need that solar panel up before we can Well, I don't know how long this episode has been, but I think, uh, I think we have a, a good start here, and after our exciting, uh, solar flare, let's let them out. Oh, I should have turned that mine off to save power, because power is still a consideration, even... Yeah. Even with that, um, let's turn this off. Maybe someone will bring in that ore. And I can't turn off the the sick bay now because there's people in the beds, and if I do, they'll get up. So that's going to use more power. Okay. Okay, but this is not really bad. Oh, well, that's more. I was ex maybe maybe I could have built the lab. No. No, this is a better plan. 1400 still isn't enough. I mean, I still have to turn stuff off just to make it through the night without shutting down our biodome. Okay. Well, it looks like we're uh, stable and I could use a break. So we're going to call it an end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I just uploaded the first few episodes to YouTube and uh, I very much appreciate the likes and the one comment I got. Um, 
So thank you, and I hope you'll come back for episode six.